There was a significant event on the 21st in Sweden. Massive last yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Sweden has got problems. Europe has problems. Well, they definitely do. And whenever you have people from one culture that immigrate into another culture and they're disenfranchised and poor and they have oh, a guys. really, well, not, not, I'm just I'm going to keep going with it, but, and they also have a really restrictive, fucked up culture that they're coming from and they want to improve pose that culture on the people that live in Germany or wherever and they want women to start wearing long dresses and they, they treat them like they're whores if they don't that's all fucking real dangerous they're from a different part of the world and it's a part of the world that hasn't changed much in a long time yep. and that part of the world I mean you could call it culture you can call it re religious tradition but whenever you're dealing with a part of the world that still has honor killings and female genital mutilation and you don't let women drive, and you know you, you, women aren't allowed to vote, and you have this incredibly restrictive world that you're you're existing in, and then you bring that world somewhere else, you're going to have a culture clash, and you're seeing that. And this is this is you know, if if you want people to be free, and you want people to have the ability to integrate into a, a more free culture like America is, you also have to be honest about what the consequences are. And you have to be honest about what kind of culture they're coming from. And as soon as you talk about that, you get labeled an Islamophobe. As soon as you talk about this incredibly restrictive, misogynistic culture that's based on an ancient, ancient series of rituals and beliefs, you become a racist and a bigot by talking about a reality. Like a, a and they're not a race. You're talking hmm. about culture, and I, it's important right. to make that distinction as a Western chauvinist that I think the West is the best, I don't care what race you are, but I don't think that other cultures are different. I think they're worse, and Islam is 500 years behind us. We were shitty. We had witch hunts. Inquisition. We, we had the Inquisition. They're, doing, they're not caught up to us yet. They're not as advanced, and I think two big problems with them as far as prog progress goes is the Quran is an exceptionally violent book. It doesn't have a 2.0 the way Christians do. And no one ever talks about this, but they have a major problem with inbreeding. They are marrying their first cousins again and again and again. And that makes your evolution go backwards. Is this true? Where yes. are you getting that from? I never, never heard that before. Consanguinity, I think it's called. Muhammad said it's okay to marry your first cousin. For real? And you do that once or twice, it's pretty bad. And you do it for 40 generations, and now you're going back in time. Look at Iran in 1965. Mini skirts, woman doing chemistry with test tubes, driving around. Hi, you want to go to the go-go hop later? <laughs> and now just garbage bags. Oh, yeah, oh, Gregorian chants everywhere. They've gone backwards in time, and I blame, obviously, the, the Quran religion. and the culture and religion. But also, I think inbreeding enables them to get hijacked by these radicals. I mean, we've Wait, got guys you who think, think they can beat snake bites but in America. You can you think, imagine them taking over Christianity? Do you think? Well, there, there are people in America, right, that, that do do that still. It's hilarious. But Those they're not taking over guys. America no. the way they took over the Middle East. You think it's the same? They're, they're equivalent as far as their... Yeah, I think Irshad Manji in uh, uh, The Trouble with Islam, she says a weird group of wasabis just hijacked the religion and sent it into the dark ages. And I go, yeah, but how were they vulnerable to hijacking? Christianity couldn't be hijacked by the snake guys. So why, and I think a part of it was inbreeding. Uh, this, this is your own theory. No, no, no. Look at Someone up. else Muslims has a theory? And inbreeding, major, major problem. I've never heard this before. Especially with immigrants in Britain, huh. like the Pakistanis in London. They'll have all kinds of serious inbreeding problems because that's an even smaller sample size you're dealing with. Huh. And every time I bring this up, people go, yeah, what about white people? Hillbillies. They were inbreeding. Or royalty. They were inbreeding. And I go, yeah. yeah. And it went real bad. It was a bad move. We learned the hard way. We saw deliverance. Well, this is the first I've heard of it, but. Pull it up. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you're not lying. You find anything? Strap yourself in for this. 70% of all Pakistanis are inbred, and in Turkey, the amount is between 25 to 30%. More stillbirths among immigrants, a rough estimate reveals that close to half of everybody living in the Arab world is inbred. A large percentage of the parents that, this is blowing my mind, large percentage of the parents that are blood, where is this coming from? What is this website? I blog posted it before I came here. PJ Media, but these are all the sources that went to, this is, uh, this source is ReproductiveHealthJournal.com. 
Uh, this is a BBC investigation that w went to it. So. so listen to the BBC investigation in Britain several years ago revealed that at least 55% of the Pakistani community in Britain was married to a first cousin. The Times of India affirmed that, in quotes, this is thought to be linked to probability, to the probability that a British Pakistani family, British Pakistani family, is at least 13 times more likely than the general population to have children with the recessive genetic disorders. Holy shit. BBC's research also discovered that while British Pakistanis account for just 3.4% of all births in Britain, they accounted for 30% of all British children with recessive disorders and a higher rate of infant mortality. What in the fuck? Labor Party MP has called for a ban on first cousin marriage. Medical evidence shows that one of the negative consequences of inbreeding is a 100% increase in the risk of stillbirths. One study comparing the Norwegians and Pakistanis showed that the risk of, child, of the child dying during labor increases by 50%. Wow. That I, is insane. I also read somewhere that a lot of the symptoms of inbred people are uh, irrational rage... Uh, Put that fanaticism back up, and they end up just describing ISIS look at what it says here that um, With the uh, the IQ points it says findings on intelligence research shows that if one parents are cousins If one's parents are cousins intelligence goes down 10 to 16 IQ points the risk of having an IQ lower than 70 Criterion for being retarded in quotes. Are they using that word mm -hmm. who uses that word <laughs> they use it like that I've never seen it used like that. I've always seen it. I don't think it's a medical distinction. This is a real website. Yeah. The fuck are we they reading said from? Retardation. Did they say retard? no? It says retarded. It says retarded. In quotes, well, see, see the it there. Legal. Yeah. That is the medical definition. Increases four hundred percent among children from cousin marriages. Well, let me say that again. The risk of having an IQ lower than seventy increases 400% amongst children from cousin marriages. An academic paper published in the Indian National Science Academy found that the onset of various social profiles like visual fixation, social smile, and sound seizures, oral expression, and hand grasping are significantly delayed among the newborn inbred babies. What in the fuck? Good name for a band. Newborn inbred babies? Yeah. That's a punk or band if I ever heard one. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. Then why don't we know this? Because I people don't this. like the truth. Islamophobia. They because don't like being called Islamophobic by even discussing it. Like, we're going to be called Islamophobic for even bringing this up. Uh, information has to come out. We need right. this information about inbreeding. I think it explains the hijacking of, of Muslim religion. You know, Hasidic Jews have the same problem, but they, because they're aware of this and the truth is out, they have all kinds of elaborate DNA tests they do on each other. Not everyone takes it, but but rabbis will encourage this for us to check you out and make sure you're not related and encourage this marriage because it makes the most genetic sense. I had no idea. You, you blew my mind with that information.